Life right now is not normal, but what if you like the life you have right now more than the one you had before? Here's the question I got this week. I kind of like being home with my family and I'm concerned about re-entry. I'm not looking forward to returning to the way things were, including two hours of commuting a day and working 50 hours in an office away from those I love. Any insight or advice? Well, I can happily say that you defy Saffer's Law of Isolation. Saffer's Law of Isolation states there's an inverse relationship between your happiness during Corona and the number of children you have who are homeschooling. I like isolation because I get to help my teens through high school, said no parent ever. First of all, I think you need to thank God. Really, thank God. Everyone's had a different experience through this time. And if yours doesn't include closing your business or losing your job or losing your home or much worse than that, losing a relative or a friend, then you're very, very blessed. Please pause the video and thank God. Welcome back. There are various emotional intelligence experts online prophesying a new normal, you know, a kinder and more understanding world. I can't see the future, we're a non-profit organization, but I don't see the world getting kinder by itself and I'll tell you why. Last century, I was a tap dancer in our school musicals. Now the coolest thing about music is it's a universal language. And the coolest thing about the musical was that in seven weeks, the cast became friends whether you were a lead or the chorus or a jock or a nerd or the popular girl or a goth or whatever. You know, you could be friends with people who you'd never ordinarily be friends with because of the situation that you're in. And for the first week after the musical, it was great because you'd talk to each other in the corridor and then the next week you'd wave and you'd smile and then the week after you'd nod. And then that last week, you'd just nothing. It just went back to the way it was before. We're living through Corona, stage one anyway. And we've realized how abnormal what we thought our normal life was. We spent most of our evening either decompressing from work or getting ready for tomorrow. And we've realized, you know, having gone on this kind of weird family extended staycation, so our work-life balance was way out of balance. And we'd forgotten what family dinner looked like and we'd forgotten what being a human being looked like and felt like. And we know that's got to change. But it won't change unless you Personally, change it for yourself. You know, like God strengthened Pharaoh's heart, this is a circumstance beyond your control, right? You didn't choose the new work-life balance. So unless you make the effort to choose it after you go back, I don't think it'll happen by itself. Employers might uh, allow you to work from home, but I think they've just found out that if you already pay rent, so they don't need to pay rent. If you wanna leave isolation and continue to be that full human being, you know, to work to live instead of living to work. So you need to start working on what that would look like now before you're fully back in the workforce. Because if you leave it to happen by itself, you're right to be scared. You're creating a vacuum. And we all know that vacuums suck. It'll be like the musical, you know? Over time, it'll just go back to the way it was before. We can create a worldwide revolution of kindness. You know, being a full human being and treating others like full human beings. But you have to make that change starting now. I know you can do it. And if you don't believe me, I'm here for you. Give me a call. Dial 1-800-I-LIKE-BEING-HUMAN-AGAIN or just visit h.org.au.